Welcome to GSB Storytime. Let us pray. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for life, health, strength, as well as the activities of our limbs. Forgive us of our sins, and please, Lord, protect our families, health care workers, our pastor, and all those we love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My own Psalms 91 book by Peggy Joyce Ruth, illustrated by Jose Carlos. Verse 1. This book is written just for you because God wants to protect you so you never have to be afraid again. God invites you to find a secret place where just the two of you meet each day. God wants you to say out loud, I trust you, Lord, and I know that you are the one who protects me from harm. Have you ever seen an old mother hen cover her chicks with her wings when the hawk flies down to hurt them? Under their mother's wings, those chicks are safe. Did you know that if you trust God, God will hide you from harm and the old mean devil cannot touch you? There are some people in this world who are not nice. They do mean things and that makes God sad. But God doesn't want you to be afraid. He is stronger and more powerful than the people who do bad things. God doesn't want you to be afraid of some bad disease. Doctors are nice people that God uses to help sick people get well. But God is even more powerful than the doctor and he wants you to be healthy. God wants you to know that you do not have to be afraid of things like storms, thunder, car wrecks, or scary dark places. You will see bad things happening in the world, but God wants you to trust him so none of those evil things will harm you. Did you know that angels are real even though you don't see them? God created the angels to watch over you and protect you. Remember to thank God every day for the angels that he sends to protect you from harm. When the devil tries to scare you, he is like a mean old lion or an ugly snake or a wicked dragon. When you're afraid, say a scripture verse out loud. Then the devil will leave because he does not like to hear God's word. Verse 14, put your name in the blank. God says, because loves me and is my friend, I will take away from me and I will allow sit with me up high. It is fun when daddy lifts you up high in his arms. God will lift you up even higher. If you love God and obey him, then you can call on him in prayer and he will hear you and answer you. What an honor for God to talk to us. Have you ever done something that wasn't nice and later you were sorry that you did it? God is there when you are in trouble. God says that he will forgive you. So be very quick to run to him and say, forgive me, I'm sorry. God wants you to live a long, good life. Lots of people live long lives, but the only way to live a happy life is by living for God. The End Lord, thank you for this amazing day today. We ask that as we read this story tonight, that we are able to receive a message from you. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. And thank you for the children who are listening. We ask that you bless them and continue to bless the community. In Jesus' name, amen. The Story of Jonah 
Long ago lived a man named Jonah. He was one of God's people. God was very sad that the people in a city called Nineveh near where Jonah lived were being bad. He had a special command for Jonah. Jonah was worried. He knew the people in the city were bad and he did not want to go there. He did not understand why God would want to help them. So Jonah decided to run away. Jonah jumped onto a ship that was going far away. This made God unhappy. So he sent a big storm that made the ship toss in the rough water. The other men in the boat were frightened. Jonah told them the storm was his fault. He said that if they threw him overboard, the sea would be calm. The men did not want to do this, but Jonah told them they must to save their lives. Finally, they threw Jonah into the water. The storm stopped right away. God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah. For three days and three nights, he was inside the fish. While inside the fish, Jonah prayed to God. He thanked God for sending the big fish to save him. Jonah told God he was sorry and asked for another chance. He told God he would do anything he asked. God heard Jonah's prayers and answered them. The great fish coughed Jonah up onto dry land. Jonah was happy to be on dry land again. Jonah realized that he must always listen to God and follow his commands. This time, when God told him to go to Nineveh to preach his word, he obeyed. The city of Nineveh was very large. It took Jonah three whole days to walk through it. As he walked, he told the people about God's message. He told them that they should stop doing bad things and God would save them from harm. The people of Nineveh listened. They started to believe in the one true God. They stopped doing bad things and the king told the people that they must pray to God and ask him to forgive the things they had done. When God saw how the people had changed, he was pleased. The people of Nineveh were happy too that they were making better choices and that they knew about God's love. The end. Please bow your head and close your eyes as we prepare for prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening as we gather together once again to hear stories of your miracles and promises to your people. Thank you for coming into our lives and protecting us from all that is not you. We love you. In your precious son, Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. My First Bible A great introduction to classic Bible stories from the Old and New Testament. Retold by Chris Hirschman. Illustrated by Kate Davies. The Story of Joseph Jacob had 12 sons. Joseph was his favorite. To show his love, Jacob gave Joseph a colorful coat. Jacob's other sons were jealous, so they sold Joseph to a merchant. Joseph was taken to Egypt to become a slave. Egypt's ruler was called Pharaoh. One day, Joseph helped Pharaoh by telling him what his dreams meant. Pharaoh was so happy that he freed Joseph from slavery. He put him in charge of all Egypt. Years later, Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to beg for food. They did not recognize Joseph. Joseph tested his brothers and found that they had become honest men. You are my family, he said, as he hugged them. I love you and forgive you. The end. 
Lord, we come back again thanking you for this amazing evening. Thank you for this powerful lesson in this story. Thank you for everything that you're teaching us. And thank you for all the opportunities that you are giving us through literacy. We ask that you continue to bless our family, our friends, bless the children who are listening tonight. Bless those who will continue to listen to our read-alongs as we go through this journey. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.